been out harvesting some uh, greens that I've done the video on this week. Uh, I'm now here. I'm washing it out. All I'm doing is I'm washing these out with a little bit of vinegar water and putting them in my dish drainer and then rinsing them back off. And these here are the Cressy greens that I got out of there. And here is a bunch of curly dots that I got out of there. Uh, I'm actually after I do that, I'm letting them sit on this towel before I go put them in the um, pot to cook them. And this here, guys, if you'll see here, I've got some of these Cressy greens here. And I do this also with my cilantro, and I'm going to put some water in this and stick it in the refrigerator. And this part here will be added to my, um, you don't want to get way too much water because you'll start getting rot going on. But I like to get it to where it's touching it. And you look at it every few days if you put it in your refrigerator. To make sure it's still touching it to keep your greens going good. So I'll put that in my refrigerator. And... Um, I'll pick off of it just like I do my cilantro when I add it to our salads throughout this week. But here I'm going to make some actual greens and I've got some frozen spinach that I'm going to add to this as well. So let me finish getting this washed up and drained and I will uh, show you the next process. Okay guys, what I'm going to do here is I got me some water here started in a stock pot. I'm going to add some salt to this, approximately a teaspoon's worth salt and this is my bacon grease that I keep every time I do that and I'm going to put about a teaspoon's worth of bacon grease in here. The water ain't got hung up to help it off and spin it. Now here I've got some spinach if you see there that I had froze back before. I actually had two bunches in here and I used a bunch for something else that I made. But I'm going to throw these, the, left, the rest of this spinach in there. And you can throw whatever greens you have in this. You can put some collards in here, some, some uh, just whatever kind of greens you got. Now here is my um, watercress greens. I'm going to go ahead and put these in there. And I showed you that I had put some in a little uh, tray to, or a little glass jar, I'm sorry to uh, put in the refrigerator. If some of these big thick stalks like this you can break off if you want to. Some people just take the leaves and don't even eat the stalks but I I don't have an issue with the stalks so that's me though. But if you wanted to and you didn't want any of the stalks at all, most of these are young stalks but uh, you know if they're real real fibrous stalks or something I would break them off like that. Uh, so let me show you with the let me go ahead and stick the rest of these in. Now these greens, most of these have probably cooked greens before. But they don't take long. It's just like any other green. They don't take too, too long to cook down. This pot looks like a big pot right now. But in a little bit you'll be saying, why did she get such a big pot to put them in? But this will only probably feed me and my husband a couple meals, I'd say. And I would eat these just like I would any other greens. We like to put uh, some vinegar in our greens. Uh, lots of times I like to put a little bit of red pepper flakes and maybe just a tad of sugar. I'm not going to since I've got such a mix of greens here. I'm not going to. As you see here, I've got this towel laid down here. I like to lay a towel down when I do this kind of stuff because it kind of uh, keeps it from getting everywhere. Um, now, all these young leaves, as you see here, guys, I'm just going to throw these in here. Now, most of these are all young leaves, and I like to get the young leaves because they're more tender. But if you don't like the stalks, like we talked about just a moment ago, if these are good and just been picked, just like collard greens, you can flip them backwards like that and bend them right on their crease and just slide your finger down and take the stalk off if you'd prefer them that way. These stalks are not very old. Like I said, these are young, but if you have to get some older stalks, which, you know, later on this, this spring or whatever, you can always just fold that back on the front side of it. Just crease it back and just run your finger down it like that right there. And you'll get those stems off of there. That's a good, easy way. See, here, there's the back side. There's the front side. I take the front side and I just bend that back along that spine. And then I'll take my hand and run it down and get it right off of there. 
So, these are going to be a mixture of greens. And like I said, you can add any kind of greens to these. I'm just getting some of these bigger stalks that I'm doing that way. And see, some of them, it depends on the uh, how tender it is. But these are so tender that mostly, most of the time I'm not even having to do, uh, like I said, I'm bending them. It's the tougher stalks that you normally would have to do that to. But I'm really not concerned about them, to be honest with you, because they're... Well, what I'm more concerned about is doing it the wrong way because I'm standing here doing this this way and throwing it that way. See, there's a bad spot on that, so I'll throw that one out. So, then we'll cook these greens down, guys, and I'll get back with you here in a little bit and show you the results. Sorry guys, I failed to mention, I've got this on high till it gets good and hot and starts bubbling. And I've got plenty of water in there, just enough to cover it. And uh, I'm putting a lid on it until it gets there. Hey guys, I've got my greens cooked. I'm going to strain them now and I don't advise putting that hot water down your sink. Okay, the reason I wanted to do this because my husband likes his greens chopped up more than this. He don't like them as stringy as that right there is. I don't care either way myself, but he likes them chopped up. So you can take some kind of chopper. I'm using this biscuit cutter. Yes, I reinvented the biscuit cutter. I cut everything with that thing. From cabbage, I cut cabbage up a lot of times like that. But I'm just cutting that up some more. in my bowl. I'm going to serve it in. greens guys look at them greens you see I got sweet beans here I'm gonna have with them uh, I'm making some chicken and I'm eating them when I'm standing here they got good flavor very good flavor I could add a little bit more salt I believe to that mess but you see how much they cook down there you go It's time for another Remember When. I hope to find everybody doing wonderful. We're doing just great. And I'm enjoying the sunshine the past couple of days because we've had a lot of rain. But I've got some news for you guys today. It's something I've known for a while, but there's a special reason that I'm going to share it today. And the news itself is I'm going to be a mamma again. This will be my sixth grandchild. Uh, four of my grandkids has been adopted in. About five, almost six years ago now, they're heirs. That's just all there is to it. They're heirs. Cause, and then I've got my grandson through my son. And now my, my oldest daughter is going to have a little girl. That's the news. We found out it's a girl. And we're so excited because I've got the four grandsons and one granddaughter, which is little Jazz, that y'all see on here every now and then. And now I'm going to have another girl. And Jasmine said, Mama, I'm tired of boys. I want me a baby sister. So guess what? Jazz is going to have her baby sister. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, not until September, by the way. Uh, made me think about old school baby stuff. And I thought about the baby uh, or the even flow glass bottles that we used to have, how we used to put them in the boiling water and make sure that they were sanitized. And then we'd stick them in the milk in and stick it in the boiling water to heat it up and stuff. I don't think people even do none of that anymore. I'm not positive, but don't, I don't think they do. I got my notes on the envelope. How's that? Um, it made me think also about the plastic paintings. Remember how we had the plastic paintings that we put over top of the cloth diapers? 
up until my brother, I think when my brother was born was when Pampers first came out. But Mama, I think she might have got some maybe for church and places like that. But for the most part, she were, she used cloth diapers even with him. And because uh, I, I remember that very vividly. And I remember getting the plastic paintings after my brother grew out of them and using them on my baby dolls. <laughs> um, and that made me think about, there's actually a couple pictures of things that I was able to get that I'll be putting on here, here, and there. And I also put my picture of my grandbaby's ultrasound. And also, it made me think about the wobbly eye phone. Remember the little wobbly eye phone? You go, as you pull it across the floor. You know the bad thing about the toys like that back then? That one, and that one that you pulled, or you could pull it or push it, had the round thing on it and had the balls in it, and it jumped, the balls jumped in it as you pulled it. The noisemakers, those things just drove me crazy. The thing about toys back then is they didn't have batteries. So you couldn't not hear it. If the kids was playing with it, you were hearing it. So that was the bottom line. But I'll tell you a secret that I did. And I, this was being bad. I was a bad mommy when I did this. <laughs> not really. But anyway, my, my girls, they had this doll. I think it was Top and Kelly. But anyway, that thing would not shut up. It talked all the time. Drove me nuts. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I got in there, and I turned the batteries around backwards and put it back in there. And so when the kids came to me and said, Mama, Mama, sorry, I'm on Mama already, uh, said, my doll ain't working. I say, the batteries must be dead. <laughs> Was I mean or what? I know that was mean to me, but that thing drove me nuts. It was crazy doll. Anyway, I love you guys. I will talk to you later. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. We are doing great, and I will talk to you later. God bless.